pages with a purpose. This is the Clarity Breakthrough Guide. It's a transformative system organized into guided journal format. It consists of daily and weekly habits that when done consistently can transform a life. And believe it or not, this was developed by a man from our neck of the woods, one who believes the ultimate self-help is self discovery. And that man is Justin Barnes, and we are happy to have him with us this afternoon in Historic Studio D. Good to see you. That's my pleasure to Glad be here. here. So, um, when did this come out? So this has been a passion project of mine for a couple of years now, and actually started as a full-blown book. I was about 45,000 words into that book, and I met with a, a great mentor of mine. He said, Justin, you know, Sometimes what we write is for other people, and sometimes what we write is just for us. And at that point, it went through a metamorphosis where I decided that what would be more impactful than a book that would get read once and put on a shelf would be a journal that people could engage with daily, right. that would combine the very best of theology and psychology to lead to lasting life change. Uh -huh. Interesting, okay, clarity, what does that mean? It's a great question. So the seemingly misplaced ID in clarity is a nod to the role of identity as it pertains to helping participants get clear on what they truly want, that's desire, what we were made to do, that's purpose, and how to go about doing that for which we were made, values. Desire, purpose, and values all flow from identity. You wouldn't have to study the self-help landscape for long to see that there's a lot of content out there that help people find purpose or help people to quote unquote feel better. But many of, much of that content falls short to deal with the underlying root issue in my opinion of knowing your true authentic identity. And so the simple practices in this guide help people to uncover just that. So why is it do you think you were inspired to to go this direction. Well, I believe that uh, you're most powerfully positioned to help who you used to be. And so in my case, uh, I came through a season of adversity that was an incredible teacher. And unlike a lot of people that would come through similar seasons of adversity, I had access to executive coaches. I had access to great mental health practices. I had access to great books, great podcasts, great content. And so I've done all of the work to kind of give everybody a cheat code to really kind of shortcut to this really foundational principle of saying, hey, who am I? And the clarity that comes from that. All right, so show us how it works. Yeah, so you'll notice at the bottom of the first page there, there's actually a QR code. Mm -hmm. So unlike other journals where there's only written guidance, there's actually video guidance where you can scan with your phone's camera and it will take you to me teaching you some of the content throughout the journal. And so as the journal opens, it takes you through an exercise that I call the sacred versus the significant. And if you really think about it, there's a lot of seemingly good things, even significant things in our lives that masquerade as sacred. As a young dad, I can recall riding back to work after my days off and, and thinking to myself, man, I was super productive. But there was this underlying tension. As I recounted the day before, I was very proud of my productivity, uh, of getting the grass cut, of getting the car wash, of getting so much done. But then I was like, well, wow, you know, how did I connect with my kids? How did I connect with my wife? And so I was prioritizing production over connection, which many of us do because it's just a pattern we're taught to live in. But it was really because I wasn't clear on what was sacred versus what was significant. And so this opens with really helping people to get clear on what's sacred. Mm -hmm. Once you're clear on what's sacred, we, we write vision statements about your sacred areas of your life. And, and Jimmy, um, being a chaplain, I know that you will appreciate this. Uh, many well-intending faith leaders, they often quote Proverbs where it talks about without a vision, the people perish. Right. But what was really intended by that was without a prophetic revelation, the people cast off restraint. And let me demystify this for a moment. When our decisions today are informed by a compelling vision of tomorrow, that's where we find our power. We have to live today with tomorrow in mind, with a compelling vision of what tomorrow must look like. And so when we have a vision that informs our emotions about what tomorrow must look like based on our identity, then it changes how we live today. And that's where we find power. And that's what clarity unlocks. Wow. Okay. So if this has hooked you and I don't really see how it could not have, <laughs> tell us how to get it. Yeah, so I have a website, justinbbarnes.com. Very simple. You can go there and you can order it and uh, I'll ship it right out to you. Wow. Wonderful. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Justin Barnes.
creator of Clarity. Thanks Thank for you, being Dr. here. Thank you.